welcome back to a new video today officially is the day that i am going to call these talks matcha talks rather than coffee talks i know it's been like we've come a far away but i think the day is finally here i feel we have to catch up on so much stuff i know i took you guys with along kind of throughout my summer but i don't know i feel like we haven't really had like you know catch up like friends to friends um i'm going to do my makeup a little bit quickly i'm just gonna sit down here and then in the meantime update you on everything what life is bringing me right now I got my first tattoo, my brother came to town Max and I found a wedding venue Oh my god, there's so much stuff we need to chat about, okay I recently have been using the Summer Friday Sheer Skin like Tinted Moisturizer And it's freaking amazing, it's so light but it still covers like a little Okay, I honestly don't really know where to start because I feel I have just so many different updates. I filmed last weekend's on home tour video, I know, finally. So that is coming out next week. So make sure to subscribe, put your notifications on. So once that video is uploaded, you guys finally get to see, I don't know, tour my whole apartment. It's been like, what, two years or something? I really wanted to do it, but I never felt the place was done or like it was organized or I had time to film it. I don't know, it was just a project and I'm so happy that I finally did it. It feels so good and I'm just also like really excited to share kind of my space with you guys. I hope that you like it and um, I don't know, I just hope it's like worth the wait. So that is like update number one. The second is that Max and I confirmed our wedding venue for next year. I still can't really believe it. I was always like, oh, I'm not really the girl with like her Pinterest boards with all her weddings and dreams and like things like that. But now it comes closer and it's getting real. I'm just having so much fun in the preparations of it. I'm like putting boards together. Like I have like fun ideas on how I want it to look like, thinking about dresses already. I'm also going to film another video for you where we are visiting different venues in Italy because I know how hard it can be. So I kind of want to do a whole wedding series and like a dedication on that. So yeah, very much in like this honeymoon type of phase right now. It's actually really fun. And the way I approach like organizing a wedding too is that I really don't want it to cause any like stress or anxiety or anything the whole point of it is to celebrate and to celebrate love and I don't want to I don't want to stress out about it which is for me sometimes really hard but I think for now so far it's been going well I feel like a human being. Sometimes a tiny little makeup goes a very long way. We are gonna make our little matcha. Wow, it's really dark in my place right now. So this oat milk came in the mail and I am really excited to try it because basically any really like high-end and really nice like coffee place I always see the packaging of it because it's kind of like this funky packaging and the coffee is always amazing I don't really order matcha anymore in cafes because they use such poor quality I can completely understand that if you've never tried matcha or if you want to try it and you just grab it in a cafe that you don't like it because I I even think it's just really really bad so anyway I like to drink my matcha straight up on the rocks sometimes with a splash of like oat milk so I'm excited to try the minor figures this is the barista oat it comes in barista oat light and then also I think a barista oat is it medium? I'm not sure there's another one above or heavy let's make this i just feel from all plant-based milk also oat milk is the one which goes the best 
with matcha. I have tried basically all of them. Almond milk does not mix well at all with matcha, so yeah, let's try this. oat milk in particular supposed to pair really well with coffee that's kind of the way it's engineered so it keeps like the texture kind of complements really well so i'm curious to see like how i like it with matcha so i put it in the nespresso frother and i did like an ice froth so mm. i can taste that it's still a little bit light like sometimes with a brand like Oatly, even though it is really delicious, it's very like heavy and super creamy. And I actually like that this is a little bit more light and it does give a little bit of sweetness to the matcha and it's actually really, really delicious. So I'm definitely going to try this also with like a warm matcha and like more like foam milk because it is really, really good. I like it a lot. Minor figures, you're getting a nine. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my cameras today, but there is a heat wave here in LA right now. It's like 105 or 35 degrees. I always forget how to like do the difference, but it's really freaking hot. So definitely needed my hot smash for this. Mm. Okay, so last week, or has it been two weeks now? My younger brother, Jules, was in town. He flew all the way from the Netherlands to come and visit me. So amazing to have him here and to like show show him around. I posted a little TikTok video that we were getting matching tattoos because we have a very like special relationship. I guess this is something I have actually never shared with you guys. I never really felt the need to like bring it up or to I don't know, like tell the world or like put labels on things or whatever. But the reason why my brother and I have such a special relationship and this trip was very meaningful is because my brother is um, mentally disabled. And another reason why I kind of want to, you know, talk about it in this video is because in a way I do want to kind of raise awareness for this. I also feel it shows that like, in every family, like you never really know what is going on behind the doors. You know, growing up, it was sometimes like challenging in that sense, but it really made me the person I am today. I really like love him. One of the first questions is like, oh, is it like autism or this or that? There is not something like particular where we can put like a label on it, like, this is it so at one point we like accepted it but it does meant like he needed a lot of like you know help and like traveling alone was like a really big thing there's always been like a really big language barrier because of his invisible like disability we're still able to like communicate a lot through like feeling and stuff so this was really really special for him to be here and I wanted to do something special and I was like, let's get matching tattoos. And obviously he was like so, so happy with it. As you guys know, I also grew up in Zimbabwe and that's actually where my brother was born. His full name is Jules Farai Vlut. And Farai is a name or a word in the language Shona, which is spoken in Zimbabwe. And it means like happiness or to be happy. I thought that would be a really beautiful word for a tattoo so we decided to go downtown and yeah both get the word for I obviously a little bit like different styles but I actually like vlogs or part where we would go get our tattoos so 
yeah, let's take a look back. Okay, guys, my brother's filming right now. He doesn't speak English, but we're on the way to Sasha Tattooing in downtown. I am very excited. I've never gotten a tattoo before. No idea how long it's gonna take, if it's gonna hurt. I don't even know if the spot I want it, like on the back of the arm, is going to hurt a lot or not. I don't think so. It doesn't feel like super sensitive here. Um, so, yeah, we're on the way. her some of the inspo photos that I kind of had in mind so I'm going to show you quickly this one my brother wants I want the same word but then more in this type of font it's kind of like very script like handwritten very thin line so yeah this is the inspo Sasha is currently um, sketching it out designing it of course we need to approve it you already got a tattoo, a really big one. Let the type of zoom. Damn. He's single, guys. Yeah. <laughs> He's very nervous. <laughs> He's very nervous. <laughs> he says it looks very sleek. He loves it. Done. <laughs> My brother got his design on. They just had to figure out the placement and they just like redid it quickly. Found the exact spot. So I think they're gonna I think they're going to start. Mm -hmm. You're up next. Are you excited? Nervous? Oh my god, it is really hot in the car. We just finished. Should we want to show yours? Yeah. There he is. Look at that bad boy. And then mine is right here. I love how like gentle and like thin she was. It really didn't hurt, honestly. It was it was like peanuts. I think my brothers did hurt a little bit more because his was like much thicker. And I also think the location obviously matters because I don't know, behind your elbow, it's not super sensitive while like in your arm, it's like way more ticklish. Anyway, we're gonna head home and then I will show you guys a little bit more about the tattoo later, right? So yeah, this is it. I am super happy with it. Uh, it is so tiny. I think it is really important that if you are doing like fine line tattoo to find an artist who can really do it because if this is like very heavy lined it is really not as like elegant i feel like i literally f keep forgetting that it's actually on my arm and that i have a tattoo and i have to be honest like immediately after i was like oh my god i want to get more that was so fun for now i do not have any plans on getting other tattoos but this one is a very like meaningful one and I really, really love how it came out. Like, she did an amazing job. Very delicate, very me. In a way, I was a little bit like, not nervous, but a little bit nervous in like kind of, you know, sharing this. And maybe it's more like just being very like vulnerable and especially when it comes to, you know, my younger brother, because I've always been in this position where I feel I like have to protect him and things like that. But then on the other side, you know, a lot of you can maybe relate to this or have other family members or you know kids or brothers sisters um, and you're dealing kind of with the same thing yeah you just never know what is going on with you know 
with people, with families and all of that. I don't know, it really meant the world to me that he that he was here and we could able to do it. So yeah. I really wanted to to share that with you. A lot of updates, live updates here. Max is currently in Europe. I'm home alone. And to be honest, I'm actually really enjoying it. It's nice to just have a little bit of, you know, like space and like alone time and like me time. I kind of like need that sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed like today's little coffee talk video. And if you have any questions for me, then please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments down below. And again, next week will be the home tour finally. So stay tuned for that. Bye.